Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Oxygen Not Included, shall we? This is a game that has been on my wish list for a long time. People have been recommending it, and I'd kind of been waiting to play it until I tried to finish my RimWorld play, but I bought it on sale and I just couldn't resist. So I'm gonna boot it up here for the very first time. And we'll go ahead and start a new game. And we'll do survival mode because this seems to be the way of it. World traits, survival chance, ideal. Um, that seems pretty good. I don't know anything else about this. And story traits. Um, I don't know enough about the game to do anything other than just say start game. Now I'm hoping that this is the tutorial or there is some sense of a tutorial but we're just going to roll with it and see if we can find anything space adventure awaits okay so it says choose three duplicates to begin okay so we get some duplicates and i'm assuming this is a colony management game similar in some respects to something like dwarf fortress rim world whatever i mean here you get three people like in rim world but then again from the screenshots i saw it looked like more it was 2d uh you know from the side as opposed to top down but uh i didn't look too closely i wanted to come into this without knowing very much about it all right so um i'm just gonna go i don't Again, I'm doing everything just random. I'm not going to try to engineer anything at this point. We've got Rowan, Quinn, and Catalina. And we're going to name the colony, though, um, Incompetent Shelter, at, at the very least, and embark. Oh, my. Alert. I've woken at the target location but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. That's a problem. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. That does seem imperative. Um, okay, so I'm going to push spacebar to pause the game and just take a look at everything. So first of all, it's curious that the story is using the first-person pronoun I when I'm not sure who I am. I mean, am I, am, is that speaking from the perspective of one of these duplicates, or am I the kind of omnipotent force that is seeing the world in a two-dimensional cutaway, like a cross-section like this? I don't know. I will say I'm getting some, like, SteamWorld dig elements, and... I'm just going to take a look at the UI. All right. I've got some options I can do down here. Uh, some things for my people to do over here. I can move around with WASD. It looks like there's copper ore shimmering away. This is um, breathable gas. This is oxylite. All right. Algae, sandstone. So I'm getting some, you know, Dwarf Fortress feel with all these minerals and everything. So it says tutorial basic controls let me click on this i can use a and d to pan my view left and right and ws to pan up and down indeed mouse scroll up and down zoom in and out yes h returns my view to the printing pod printing pod that's hilarious are we like you know 3d printed people i can speed or slow my perception of time using the top left corner buttons or by pressing numpad plus or minus and press space like I did right here to pause the game entirely interesting so I am the controller that is who I am I am the the one playing the game I'll keep records of everything I discover in my personal database to refer back to if I forget anything important or I'm some kind of AI I doesn't matter all right let's just go ahead and say don't show it again we got it close it and then um, colony management. I can use the dig tool and the build menu in the lower left of the screen to begin planning my first construction tasks. Okay. 
Once I've placed a few errands, my duplicants will automatically get to work. Indeed, without me needing to direct them individually. Okay, so that's a very elegant way of explaining uh, the hilarity and agony of the indirect control method that colony management games tend to provide. So I'm going to push G, and I'm going to say dig. And we can kind of look around and... I mean, whatever this is, it looks cool. And... Anything else that I want? What is this? Uh, here, let me... This is... Uh... Tile. And then this is... A shine bug. Alright, so let's just go ahead and push G and... You know, dig out this big path. I'm just kind of dragging out a section for them to dig. And then you can dig, like, a little stairway... Uh, up there to go explore into this chamber. Now, I don't know if they can reach. Like, if I tr if I tell them to dig up here, and I don't know if there's physics, are the blocks going to, like, fall down on my head? Let's find out. All right, so, yes, he can't... Quinn cannot reach it, and it's like Dwarf Fortress in the sense that... Um, That only two people can work on this right now, so I might need to make a wider space or just assign a job over here. And he'll go do that. And it looks like this is hilarious. The graphics of this game are hilarious. These people have, like, some kind of science fiction ray gun that they're mining with. It's kind of like No Man's Sky, I guess. And we're getting some options. Uh, video. Duplicate movement. Duplicates have limited jumping and climbing. Oh, this explains it. They can only climb two tiles high. Oh, they can climb two tiles, so I didn't need to make the staircase that severe and cannot fit into spaces shorter than two tiles. So this means they couldn't even go in here. I would have to mine um, these out for them to get up. Or uh, cross gaps wider than one tile. I should keep this in mind while placing errands. I should keep that in mind. To check if an errand I've placed is accessible, I can select a duplicate and click Show Navigation to view all areas within reach. Oh, that's very helpful. I love that. Okay. So I could select them and show navigation. Um, that doesn't really do what I thought it would do. It's like a line across the bottom of the screen. Does that just mean it goes through each room that it can get to or something like that? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we'll figure this out. I'm going to unpause it. We don't have an oxygen generator built, and we don't have an outhouse built. That's a problem. I love that you need an outhouse in this game. Well, we're going to need to go to the bathroom somewhere. That's kind of like clan folk, I guess. All right. Here they go, zapping away, getting sandstone. Now, let me see if I can find on my screen where these resources would be represented. Um... I see consumables, diets, and medications. Oh, dear. Um, here we go. Sandstone resources tab on the upper right. I have 8.4... Is T tons? And it's increasing, and I don't need to have storage for it, it appears. Or is this my storage? This is my ration box. Oh. It's got a little progress bar. I don't know if that means, like, how full it is, or if the stuff is going to go bad inside. Anyway, we'll figure this out. They're going about their business. Now, she's coming over here because this isn't appropriate. Like, I can click on him, and I could say navigation, and, yeah, the line goes over here. But if I click this, and I instead say, here, can you um, mine these away? And he can. So he can actually get up there above him so because of this i'm gonna start mining um in tiles in passageways that are three tall i kind of assumed too tall because of how big they were but that was a mistake so let me do that the right way um let me see this All right. Uh, okay. Go ahead and dig this out. Like that. And this. And this should help. 
So now if I click on Rowan and I say show navigation, now, okay, this is what happens. Now the line moves up and says he can get all the way to over there. Okay, interesting how this works. Right, I'm gonna cancel the dig operation up there. Oh, that's not how you do that. Cancel is C. Okay, yeah, get rid of that. All right, great. Oh, did that fall down? He got hurt. Okay, there are physics. Oh God, I'm hurting my people. I didn't think about that. So he's mining like straight up and he's hitting himself. All right, so let me cancel these actions. At least that's what it looked like happened. He, something fell on him and hurt him. Um, duplicate temperature. Environments that are extremely hot or cold affect my duplicate's internal body temperature and cause undue stress. Opening the temperature overlay, F3, and checking the thermal tolerance box allows me to view all areas where my duplicates feel discomfort and be unable to regulate their internal body temperature. So up here, um, well, it's a vacuum. It's unbreathable. That doesn't seem good. And then there's a bunch of, like, gas in this chamber. Okay. Well, now being perfectly honest, I don't know if... He, maybe he got hurt not from falling debris, but because he's cold. I don't know. Let's see what happens when that drops. No, it did fall to the ground like that. Okay. So now they're going to dig. Now, if I want to get up here, it would need to be some kind of operation where I was like... Uh, dig like this up here. Let's see. Let's test this. Or maybe that bug hurt them. I don't know. He seems okay now. Yeah, it could very well be possible, too, that I was looking at a progress bar and mistaking that for his health bar, and he's okay. It doesn't look like they get hit by falling stuff, but it, sometimes it looks like it can fail for them to, like, dig through something. And I have to give the command again. Which is fine. Okay, so then, at this point we've done this, I'm going to go ahead and try a strategy where I just go like, um, let's see if they can actually get up there if I build some kind of, you know, staircase. All right. Let's see if I can build stuff. Base. Oh, you can build a storage bin. And it takes 400 sandstone. All right, well, I mean, maybe we should build that right there. I don't know. Video, digging for resources. Everything a colony needs to get food uh, going is found in the ground. Instructing duplicates to dig out areas means we can find food, resources to build infrastructure, and clear space for the colony to grow. I can access the dig tool G, which allows me to select the area where I want my duplicates to dig. Duplicates will need to gain the super hard digging skill to mine abyssalite and the super duper hard digging skill to mine diamond and obsidian. Without the proper skills, these materials will be undiggable. Okay. So this seems to be working, and with three tall, they can all dig three at a time. I can build plumbing. I can build furniture, I guess. Like a cot. But I'm not... I don't think I'm really producing oxygen for them, which is... a problem. Although these chambers have oxygen. So are they okay if I just build, like, a cot right there? Okay, he dug this. 
So do I do I dig the bug? Is that what you do? Or what do you do with it? It's just right there. I need to mine some more stuff. So they're building. And then now I think um, if I look at everybody's tasks, uh, is there an easy way to see? Oh, I can adjust their priorities. Okay, fantastic. This makes a lot of sense. So this is very intuitive if you've played another kind of colony management game. Fantastic. All right, now they have beds. And she is hungry. All right, well, hopefully they have food or maybe I need to be digging to get food. That's a blossom seed. Uh... We can't build this yet because we need metal ore. So this is um, oxylite. So let's just go ahead and get some... Try to get some more powerful... That's maybe not the right word, but let's just get some better stuff. So I'm going to tell them to dig, like, over here. And what is this? This is igneous. Okay, so we probably can't get through that. But I could have them keep digging to get to this, but I don't know, like, if I dig a hole, can they get out of it? Or, they can climb two tiles. So as long as I only make this passageway, let me see what happens if I dig in here. And if that makes it so they can no longer get up here. Like, let me see, where's your navigation? Yeah, he can't, ju he can't get over here anymore because they can only jump one tile. That's interesting. I didn't think about that. So I'm going to have to have him dig his way down. Now, maybe I can build, like, a little block for him to to get across. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Like, let me select him. Where can you go? All right. He can go a lot of places. We'll find out. If this disappears, then he can't get up there anymore once I destroy this. And that would be, you know, a shame. he can't climb up there anymore because that's three tiles. I was misunderstanding. So when they say they can't climb two tiles, they mean like with the second tile included. It's not they can't jump up greater than two. They can only jump up. So um, this is a problem. Until I can build some kind of... Here's a ladder. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank goodness. This is what I'm talking about. There you go. Well, we don't need that, but... There it is. That's all I needed. Okay. He's building the ladder. The, the bug might just chill and... Until I can capture it or something. Um, I can actually build this now. Converts large amounts of algae into oxygen. Becomes idle when the area reaches ma maximum pressure capacity. Uh, okay. So, red is unbreathable. Teal is very breathable. So, this our area right now looks okay. I don't even know if I need it. I mean, I probably do. Um, I don't know, I'll try to build one. There we go, and now she should be able to, she's picking stuff up, I think. And they are able to get through that, of course. Oh, wait a minute, no, I was wrong. So he can climb up, too. 
okay, maybe the way that it interacted, there just needs to be something there for him to jump and climb up. He can't just jump up three on his own, I think. Anyway, we're good. Storing sandstone. I didn't filter anything. But they'll put stuff in it eventually, I guess. If they have no other jobs, they'll do, like, hauling or something. I don't think it seems necessary right now, though. I'm going to try to get to this ore. She did not dig the path down like I had asked her to. And I don't know if why that is or if she can't dig through. Oh, you know what? Oh, here. Let me cancel this. Let me build it on algae. Let me build the oxygen thing, like, on top of algae, perhaps. Maybe that's where it's supposed to go. I don't know. Or maybe you just need to mine through algae and deliver it. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and just dig as far as we can over there. Fantastic. I am watching them be amazing. All right, we're getting a bunch of resources, and they're going to meet up here. Um, need power? Build it here. I don't know if we have... We don't really have many facilities that... Microbe... Musher... I need more metal ore to get that going. So let's get this copper so I can make a microbe musher. I don't think we have very much food left. We started with some, but we need more. We're almost done with the, the first cycle, it looks like. Now we got some metal. And it says scheduled downtime. So now they're going to go eat. And they're picking up food to eat. They're vacuuming like muck root. Oh my god, it's hilarious to watch them eat. Alright, so they're chowing down. Their fullness is good. Their health is good. Their morale is fine. They've received no skill points, which is interesting. And... What are they doing now? They're just kind of standing there. Inhaling. Maybe they're just getting air. Or they're just relaxing or something. Pleasant chit-chat is what is going on. This guy went right back to work. Are they saying they don't have a job to do? Because I see lots of jobs to do. There they go. Now they're going to go to sleep before work. Oh, he had to sleep up here and didn't have a break because he couldn't get home. So he's going to be upset, probably. I couldn't finish the path for him. I could have just built a ladder over here, which is what I should have done. Let me make sure I just do that. I thought we would have time to, like, you know, get through, but apparently not. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and speed it up. All the way. And what is that? Oh, that just means it's a new day, and they wake up. And we'll just kind of slow it down. And why is she sad? Full bladder. Oh, we don't have an outhouse. Oh, dear. Where was? Where does that go, though? Plumbing. Ah, the outhouse. This is what I needed to build. Um, I guess build it over there. That was a mistake. I should have built that. Hopefully they go build it. They're they're cheering people on, apparently. Now they're gathering stuff. Looks like they build maybe in order of assignment. 
All right, there's the outhouse and the um, oxygen diffuser being built. She's building the ladder. She's so upset about this whole ladder thing, but hopefully she can go to the bathroom soon. He's spraying parts. He's Oh, he has to go. Everybody's got to go. Oh, dear. There it is. One bed, one bath. Now, do I need to build more of these? He's going to go potty, like, right away. But why don't they use it? Oh, he's going to use it. Okay, great. Might need to build another one of these babies. Well, probably not. He feels good. Food poisoning. Oh, my God. Achievement earned. Bed and bath. Have at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicate. Okay, we did that. Um, germs and disease. Germs such as food poisoning and slime lung can cause disease in my duplicates. I can use the germ overlay to view all germ concentrations in my colony and even detect the sources spawning them. Build wash basins from the medicine tab. Ah, near colony toilets will tell my duplicates they need to wash up. Okay. Medicine. You need to clean up. So we've got some diseases going on here. Materials, light, plumbing, ventilation, decor, germs. Yeah, it's all right there. Oh god, the fumes. At least they feel better, even if they're filthy. We'll take it. Okay. Colony requires a food source. It does. Um, oh, the oxygen diffuser has no power. All right. Um, I need to make a microbe musher. So let's kind of put this over here. And then let's build some power. Uh, manual generator, I guess. All right. We're building stuff. Uh, what does this need? Oh, it needs plumbing. Um, I think that's what it means. It says insufficient resources. Fetching water. By building a pitcher pump from the plumbing tab over a pool of liquid, my duplicates will be able to bottle it up and deliver it where it needs to go. Okay. So, I need to mine down into some liquid. Now, I hope they don't fall to their doom. Hopefully this works. Okay, I need to cancel that block and uh, mine out these blocks. Okay. Uh, this says, missing tile, no power. Oh because building the wire chewed through the tile I put on it, I guess. Can I move it? Um, it doesn't look like you can move it. It looks like you can deconstruct it, but I don't see, like, moving it.
We'll break it. We'll deconstruct it. Okay, and then now can I build um, a pitcher pump? Like right there? I mean, it looks like I can. All right, so this doesn't have power until they finish the generator, of course. And he actually, do you have a job? He's hungry. And you can get rid of these. All right, they're trying. The power might be there. The generator is idle. Um, converts manual labor into electrical power. Does somebody have to crank it? Yeah, somebody has to, like, run on a treadmill. Oh, boy. That doesn't seem like the best way to do that. That's hilarious. All right. We're going to get water. Well, it looks like, yep, it's filling up with water, and then people can take this to the wash bin. So we can get clean. We have power, which is helping us make food. Um, can you make, like, three of them, I guess? I could say forever, but then she's going to be running on that forever, I fear. Awesome. Well, everyone, I think this is a good first look at Oxygen Not Included. This game is hysterical. It's both intuitive and yet original and interesting, and I could see myself having a great time playing the game. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting stuff down and trying to keep these duplicates alive and having fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.